So I walk up on stage and now it's like 20 people up there. <laughs> but I knew everybody wanted to crowd around her on stage. And I'm like, she won't be able to see me like this. Mm. I need to do something <laughs> iconic. So what I was planning on doing was like, you know what? You need to backflip to split or something like that. <laughs> oh, we'll insert the video. Hello. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut, brought to you by Pirate Water. We have four delicious flavors. We have Miami Vice, Sex on the Beach, Bahama Mama, and Margarita. It's a 10% AB tall can. Tall boy. We love it. It's big, and it's under $2, baby. It gets you fucked up. It's the life of the party drink. It's the drink of the summer. It's the drink of the year if you haven't tried it yet. Make sure you do this whole entire episode. This whole entire podcast is brought to you by Pirate Water. Make sure to try it if you haven't tried it yet at drinkpiratewater.com. Let's get into the episode. Are we rolling? Are we good? (laughs) Okay. okay. Three, oh. <laughs> three two, one. Yes. Okay. All right. What's? I have so much donut in my mouth. Get that donut out of your mouth. People hate when you fucking chew that food. <laughs> Is it not giving ASMR? Mm-hmm. No, it's giving gross. No, I do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's up, my degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut. We got motherfucking Markel Washington in the building. What's good? Where we'll my catch dogs up later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What? I thought it was a dildo on the floor, but it's an arm. Oh, well, but so it is sorry. used for sexual it's pleasure. It's for sexual pleasure. Yeah. It's not for our... We oh, share actually, the studio. the gay podcast, it's theirs. Got it. Yeah, mm-hmm. out and about. Gay they're gags. Out. And they're Hello, out. the gagged gays. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so we have Mark Hell in the building. He's in New York City for a fashion week, and you have the VMAs tonight. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I he am was so just excited. telling us about, about who's going to be there. And Honestly, I'm really excited. Megan the Stallion is going to be there performing with Cardi B. And if anybody knows, I'm a huge Megan the Stallion fan. But Nicki Minaj is hosting, and I'm like, girl, is there going to be a fight on stage? Because I'm just, ooh. You think, <laughs> I know. I think there might be. Kind we should predict sh- it. We could predict it. Honestly, we should. But you know your predictions are way too valid. Yeah. So I don't want... <laughs> we maybe we should say it. Because <laughs> literally, Nick with eyes comes in from the helicopter just bopping <laughs> bitches in the head. Literally, anytime Bree says something, it comes to fruition. And I'm like... This is true. So I'd actually be curious to see what your take is on this, actually. <laughs> I know. I feel like it's going to be... Remember like the Miley Cyrus thing? Oh, yeah, Miley, yeah. what's good? I feel like it's going to be a little bit of that, maybe. But to Cardi B, does she hate Megan Thee Stallion? Who, Did they get along, Nicki Minaj? And no. Me? Oh, shit. I exactly. don't know all the beef. Yeah, so Cardi, I don't know where Megan and uh, Nicki got off because they did a song together, Cash It. Yeah. So uh, I don't know where it fell off course, but now Megan and Cardi just did a song called Bongos together. and Oh, they're going to Nicki's head like a bongo. Yeah. Oh, God. I hope not. Because <laughs> literally, right, because girl, now you're going to speak it. And Megan is like damn near six. She's a gladiator. So. I know. She's a stallion. Yeah, yeah she's, she's a stallion. A stallion. Okay, wait, you love Megan the Stallion. You were on stage with her before. Yes. How the fuck does that happen, Casual. Markel? Honestly, I uh, knew she was performing at 9.40 p.m., mm. such a specific time. Where was this? Um, At the uh, Pride Fest in LA okay and I got there at 6 p.m. promptly and waited <laughs> at the barricade like this <laughs> and I got to watch all the openers and I knew she was headlining and the crazy part about it I literally wrote on my phone because I didn't uh, have time to stop and get a poster I wrote on my phone like you didn't have time you had three hours right well <laughs> you had to get up front. Too. I had to get up to the front <laughs> so I was holding up my phone like this it was like it said, Megan, can I twerk with you? <laughs> and as I'm about to tear my whole damn labrum cuff, <laughs> I held that phone up for an hour straight. Every time she came on the catwalk, I was like, Megan, <laughs> Megan. <laughs> and she just would not. And then the crazy part about it, it got to the portion to where she's like, all right, it's time to bring some hotties on stage. Who want to come up here and shake some ass? I'm I like, do. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Like the, I got one ligament left just holding on to that rotator cuff. And I'm just like, making me the crazy part about it, Brie. I swear, no lie, this bitch was like this. Looks at me and goes, you over there, come oh, here. Oh, no. I swear to God. You wanted it too I, hard. Literally. I was jumping, kicking, like, oh, she, my. She wanted some fair-weathered fan up there? Right. That's what I'm saying. So she literally did it a couple times, and she picks 15 people for the first time. 15 and you 15. did not get the gut I did not. to shake. Thank you. Oh. So then uh, they go on stage and I'm like, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> All of this waiting preparation, like it just went to waste. So I'm over there literally about to cry in the car. <laughs> you know when your parents say you can't get a snack at the grocery yeah, store? Yeah. You want to call them all type of bitches? That's what I was ready to do. <laughs> and then she, they get done with the first round and she's like, 
You know what? What the real hot girls at? I'm feeling real hot girl shit. Bring me some more girls on stage. I want to do another round. Bitch, now both arms are in the air. <laughs> like, like, like you just hear elbows popping, shoulders <laughs> popping. And comes again. I'm at the beginning of the catwalk. Make some noise if you want to come on stage. You over there. <laughs> I, at this point, I'm like, oh, so bitch, you want to fight. <laughs> so you literally want to fight. And then, uh, thank the Lord, it was one security guard who was like, wait, Markel, do you want to go on stage? Because she knew me. And I thought we had met before, but we didn't. Who, Megan Thee Stallion? Uh, no. The security. Not, uh, yeah, yeah, the security okay. guard. And the security guard was like, Markel, do you want to go on stage? And I was like, yeah. And the security guard was tall as shit as well. She had to be like 6'8". <laughs> bitch, pick me up like this little... Baby. And then my little feet were like, ooh, shit. And it got over the barricade. And she walked me up to the stage. And, um, yeah, Megan didn't even pick me. That's the funny part. Oh, she's she kind did. of a bitch in that sense. Here he is. I was literally, elbows. when I see her today, I might say, Megan, what's good? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. You, like, you and Onika team up. You, you saw me in the press? Yeah. You saw but, me in the motherfucking front row, bitch. Hello. I can't get over her. Megan, the stallion. The stallion? The stallion. No, B, yes. the, the stallion. I can't, I can't can't get over the first round, she got 15 people. The second yeah. round, she goes, where are my actual hotties at? Yeah. yeah. Hotties. Oh, yo, ugly motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck is like, right. what, the, what the heck in hell, Megan? Well, what no. were those last guys? <laughs> it's a warm up. And you were absolutely dog shit <laughs> in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't defend her. Her uh her little group, we're called the hot girls. Like the hotties. Uh hot girl shit. <laughs> so I did go on after that, that that little first dog shit pal. <laughs> Y'all are dog shit. Y'all were actually pretty good. It just wasn't up to my part. <laughs> and um <Four> Right, <laughs> period. So I walk up on stage and now it's like 20 people up there. But I knew everybody wanted to crowd around her on stage, and I'm like she won't be able to see me like this. Mm. I need to do something <laughs> iconic. So what I was planning on doing was like, you know what? You need to backflip to split or something like that. I oh, will insert the video. Hello, yeah, right. So then, no, but the crazy part about it, I didn't post a clip. I tried to do a backflip and my body froze in midair because I was holding my arms up. I swear, it literally, I went to do the backflip and all my arms said, huh. <laughs> <laughs> I cut the clip. I, I'll airdrop you the clip so you can see. <laughs> no, yeah, literally. I literally went like this. <laughs> Fuck. It just went to twerking. Hands on my knees. Yeah, literally. And I had to like resort into something else. Wait, can I pull it? I, I think Please it's my it WhatsApp. Okay, here we go. Hold on. So you're going to see me literally stop mid-air for the flip. And I try to recover. Hold on. Oh, that tushy. Wait. Right here, right here, right here. Uh, absolutely not. I Hands on the knees. I said, I said, bitch, I knew it wasn't gonna fucking work. Said, well, you, you played it off so, so elegantly. Like Thank you. I literally was going on that really really backflip, and I just knew because it's like more so of a set type drive, and I just knew my arms were held in the air for way too fucking long. So I was like, if I do this flip, I'm landing on my fucking noggin. So I was like. Hey, honey. <laughs> I literally was thinking you in my head, why did you fucking do that? You recovered. Right, that's literally. Fantastic. So, <laughs> so that's Megan the Stallion. Right. I that's had Megan the fucking Stallion. Trip. Okay, so what else do you love as much as you love Megan the Stallion? Performing. Mm. Um, <laughs> you are a performer, I will fucking really say. Every room that, okay, how long have I known you, Markel? Like a year? Yeah. And then when did you meet Markel? Just as of recent. Period. Oh, that's the first time you met him? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've known Markel for a little bit, and every time, I swear to God, we walk into a room, it's like, it's the Markel show, and it's not even like he's trying it to be. It's just insane. You're like a superstar. You Thank light you up so a room. You really do. Truly and honestly, in every sense of the word. Don't no, you get I fucking try. tired? No, yeah, 100%. <laughs> and it's like the crazy part about it, I, I hate them hosts who be trying to say I'm, I, I try to be the main character. I'm just like... I don't. I just have main character energy. He just has energy. I, I'm like, control. I be want to be in the fucking corner and shake my ass, and then the circle just starts forming around me. <laughs> I'm like, it's a beautiful I'm thing. sorry. I'm like Thanos' glove. I just attract <laughs> all the fucking stones. <laughs> and it's like, it'd be so tiring because uh, like this past weekend, um, 
I walked in the show called the Bo- uh, uh, brand for Bozzy or something like oh, that. Oh, congrats. That's it. And I was just like lit dancing. <laughs> and then everybody else was just standing there. And they were like, Marco, I was number 35 to walk. And then mm-hmm. they were like, Marco, can you actually start the show off to kind of set the Shut tone? Shut up. I, oh, I, I, I positively um, declined the offer. <laughs> I said, that's way too much pressure. That is a lot that's of pressure. Fair. Right. I'm for, just was like, it like your first show that we were uh-huh. walking in? <laughs> yeah, uh, can but, you go first? <laughs> right. Marco, can and you go first and just get the party thing, started for us? <laughs> Of course, my ass wanted to try to be uh, the boss bitch I am, and I tried to do a fucking death drop, and then um, <laughs> my ankle is severed right oh, now. Oh, good grief, Charlie <laughs> yeah. Brown. Yeah, it was supposed to be on the side of me. I got too excited. It was behind me. <laughs> so all the ligaments were torn my left ankle. Did you crawl back? <laughs> no, my adrenaline was rushing. I didn't feel it until, up. yeah. I didn't feel it until I got backstage. I was like, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> and I felt that. But I'm like, it's a lot sometimes it because people ex- uh, expect me to get the party started all the time. And I'm just like, I just want a vibe. Yeah. You really are just the vibes. And then everyone like wants to live up to the expectations. Yeah. So it's like everyone crowds around you. Have you always been like that? Yeah. It's like, <clears throat> I, I, it, it <clears throat> mm-hmm. sir. Yeah. I've always <laughs> been like that. And it's just like, anytime I hear music or anything, because. Uh, when I don't hear music, I'll just sit there like a fucking thumb. <laughs> and then the people uh, think something's wrong. They're mm-hmm. like, wait, is, are you okay, Markel? I'm like, yeah, bitch. I'm just trying not to be used. It is annoying. Every rhythm. time you're not like on, everyone's like, is Markel okay? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, he's like, fine. He's, right. He, he needs to recharge. Thank you, the bitch. I'm not the energizer bunny. <laughs> I, mean, I don't have to entertain like when he wants to entertain. Quick commercial break, guys. This is an exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. It's created by fans for fans. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. We were actually talking about it before this episode that we want to go to Olivia Rodrigo because she is so, 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 so slay. So we're going to use Game Time to get tickets to that uh, to make sure that we get the lowest price guaranteed. It's possible with Game Time app. The biggest last-minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. So the purchase process takes just two taps and 10 seconds. And once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone no prints are needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly. You can skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, and redeem code PLANBRI for $20 off your first purchase. Terms may apply. Let's get back to the episode. Exactly. When it's just organic, I just have the energy then. But when I'm like laid back, they'd be like, oh my God, are you all right? Who died? Yeah, are you okay? I'm like, no, my pet fish is still there. Rock out, Rocky. <laughs> I'm oh, going to be Rocky. okay. <laughs> right. Um, speaking of death drops, uh, I, I witnessed a few videos of you um, death dropping to the point where your pants explode. Oh, this no, yeah. This happens a lot. My balls fell out. Yeah. A couple times Those your balls fell out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I literally don't have underwear on now, so I probably couldn't do a death drop I in mean. here. Period. They hold you back. I'm jeans, too. Period. Oh, yeah, I literally. never wear underwear. I swear. I had, I had on a Canadian uh, tuxedo yesterday, and I'm like, usually, I guess because my jeans are usually skin tight and painted on, those were a little bit more loose. So when I would sit down, like the crotch area would just like pull my ball sack and choke hole. And I'm just like, Jesus, this is so uncomfortable. But yeah, oh, I'm geez. like, I still Wait, it's more comfortable ass. in your skin type draws? Yeah. <laughs> skin tight jeans. Okay. Then Those the balls loose chokios. Popping. Those like, dungarees. Dude, Markel was showing us videos where he would literally like be twerking in the middle of a club with like a bunch of people. And then all of a sudden his fucking balls pop out <laughs> and his pants rip and he stays at the club and with his balls out. Period. Honestly, I'm <laughs> like, know. most people in LA are accepting of the balls. Like they, That's it, true. It just kind of looks like a little turkey gobbler. And it's like, I'm <laughs> celebratory. I'm mm-hmm. celebrating early. Balls <laughs> out, baby. I almost did right. that sound, but I was scared it wasn't going to go well. No, yeah. I'm like, it, it, it's it's like kind of my signature move now. Mm-hmm. Balls like out. Like the ball splat out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I Falling. love it. Wait, did you always know you wanted to be like famous? Uh, I did not. I literally knew I wanted to entertain people somehow, but I never knew how I would achieve it. So, like, I was entertaining bitches when I worked at Subway. Yeah, because you you told me this. I didn't know you worked at Subway in L.A. Can you bring us the story of your start in L.A.? Well, I didn't work at uh, Subway in L.A. in Georgia. Oh, okay. Before, right before I moved. And um, I worked there, and it was so crazy because them bitches, for y'all bitches who try to get every vegetable on the sub, is impossible. Stop being fucking hungry. <laughs> get a salad. That's a, too big of a sandwich. Right, literally. So it makes the <laughs> sub artists, like, like... <laughs> Like, Wait, that's like Dick's Sporting Goods when they call their workers athletes? <laughs> the sub artist? 
<laughs> no, the, literally. As a sub artiste. Oh, we've got an athlete on aisle five. Right now we found some skates. It makes it so much harder to close a sub. So usually, um, hey, dude, I'm on a fucking pod. Yeah, what the heck? Oh, that's gas station lady. She what? can wait. Um, yeah, in Georgia, I used to make content with a gas station lady. Oh, but um, um, Humble I used beginnings. to. You say what? Humble beginnings. Period. Mm-hmm. So when I used to try to close a sub, I used to you like crack a joke or sing and uh, shit like that, and they would stop like um, being so intense on the sub, and they would be like, "Wow, you have a good voice." I wouldn't even close that bitch up. I would just, oh, thank you so much and roll that bitch up. And then, um, yeah, that's how it kind of started. And um, a couple of my friends were like, dude, you should get on TikTok. Like, you're so hilarious. And at the time, I was like working, um, like paying for my mom because my mom was in jail. So I was like helping pay the bills to kind of keep the house afloat. So I was just kind of adulting at such a younger age. So I didn't have the... uh, like knowledge of social media yeah. and stuff like that. And You're I busy. Did, barely did, had a damn phone back then. I had an iPod touch. <laughs> How old were you and, at the time? Uh, 17. Okay. So, um, when I did do, wait, no, Jesus take the will and God the vessel. Wow. That was not 17. <laughs> what I was 19 or something like that. Yeah. 19. And, um, I was yeah working and stuff like that. So then a couple of friends was like, you should start social media. So I was like, okay. And I didn't know, like, you can make a, a financial, like, st- have financial stability from it because I didn't know about the Logan Pauls and stuff like that until I got into social media oh, okay. and uh, um, all the beginners and stuff like that. So uh, after I started, um, I actually went to Myrtle Beach Safari. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I went as a plus one. I had like 15K at the time on TikTok. And I went as a plus one as somebody's videographer. Mm-hmm. And the guy at the end of the shoot was like, do you want to do a video? I was like, oh, I'm not a creator. I'm just here to uh, video. And they were like, well, you still can do one if you want to. And I was like, I mean, I can dance a little bit. Mm-hmm. I was literally complete dog shit at the time. <laughs> and then um, as Megan thinks you still are. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, you know what, Megan? Hire me. <laughs> but um. I uh, did a video with a cheetah and it got 30 million views and everybody thought the cheetah was going to bite my fucking neck off. (laughs) So um, I went from 15K to 500K overnight. Oh shit. That place is more special to you than we thought. Period. (laughs) We didn't know it held such a special place in your heart. We were going to go with him, but we we couldn't. We had the Barstool Award show. <laughs> that, oh, we'll still go back. They love me there. Okay. And, uh, yeah. and that's um, affiliated with uh, the Tiger King yeah. show? Yes. Yeah. He still has seven wives and seven girlfriends or something. Good for him. That's his show. He just different pop different pop pussy every night. <laughs> mm-hmm. I ain't feeling that pussy tonight. Mm-hmm. Let me get that one. I <laughs> hey, got it. Hey, and that's how it started. I um, kind of just built it from there. And I was still working at Subway. And then the uh, Subway owner's wife was like, you have really good customer service skills. Uh, would you want to come work at my, my boutique? I'll give you $10 an hour. I was like, holy shit, I'm about to be rich. Because <laughs> I was making seven twenty five yeah. uh, at Subway. But little did I know, I was only going to be working five hours a day at the <laughs> oh. fucking boutique. So I'm. It, it's so crazy because people who try to uh, say they can't, I'm like, if you want to, you will. Mm-hmm. I made $800 a month mm-hmm. and I was able to pay car insurance, my rent, my phone bill, and st- still have money to go eat. Yeah. $800 a month, I was just very frugal and just spent on the necessities, not the wants. There's yeah. a difference. Mm-hmm. And... um. I got like 700K uh, in November. I hit 900K in December. And then uh, January 4th of 2020, I hit my first million. Oh, Oh, shit. shit. And then uh, I got verified January 7th. And the craziest part was uh, January 10th, I do edit a video of the Hype House. And I was like, um, just trying to like shit on the people in my hometown. I was like, I'm going to collab with them, having no idea that I was even planning on going to LA. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, Jordan Matter asked to shoot this flipping group that I was a part of. And um, he asked us to fly out to L.A. So funny enough, I asked my boss, uh, could I have off? She said no. Oh, shit. Mm. The boutique owner? Yeah, yeah. She was like, Markel, we need you. Everybody else is off. Because I don't know what the fuck holiday is in July, but it, I mean, January. Well, it was like a like a big-ass sale that we mm-hmm. had. And I was like, this is a huge opportunity. And she was like, well, Markel, I'm sorry. You have to miss it. So right then and there, I knew I had to choose – uh, following my dreams or working this nine to five. Mm-hmm. Well, girl, excuse me, nine to two, <laughs> and uh, or whatever time that is, two to seven. <laughs> and uh, I was like, 
I just threw all the marbles in one bag and I flew out to LA and I shot with Jordan. And at the time I still didn't know Mm -hmm. I was collabing. So, um, as I was getting ready to fly home, the shoot was amazing, but I'm like thinking to go home, like, damn, I don't have (laughs) a job to go back to (sighs) this time and the third and the uh, night of the, before my flight, Jordan put on a story. What are some TikTok dances I can ask the hype house to do on the Santa Monica pier? I swipe up on his story. That's what a closed mouth doesn't get fed. Mm-hmm. You have to ask. Mm-hmm. And I swiped up on his story and was like, why didn't you ask me to uh, help you out? I know all the TikTok dances. And I said, LOL, just kidding, sweat emoji. <laughs> and he was like, you know what, Marco? That's actually a great idea. How about you come be my assistant for the shoot tomorrow? Oh, shit. So yeah. you stayed? I stayed. I rebooked the flight <clears throat> to leave two days later. And I get there, and me knowing all of them, mm-hmm. I'm just playing it cool. I was like, hey, what's your name? Oh, Charlie. Nice to meet you, Charlie. <laughs> Addison. Oh, it was everyone in the hype yes, house. Yes, it okay. was literally everybody. So mind and you. And this was OG hype yeah, house OG, when it was like, literally. the motherfuckers. Yes, yeah. you motherfuckers. <laughs> Pussy pop severely. Yes. Um, what's your name? <laughs> right. And I'm like, oh, nice to meet you. You said it was Char- Charlie. 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 Nice to meet you. <laughs> And Nothing like Big so Dick crazy. and Charlie. Right, here yeah. <laughs> it was so crazy at the time. And then her and Addison are scratching on the floor. <clears throat> and then, so, because both of them did competitive dance. I'm like, oh, that's cool. What'd you guys do? <laughs> like, I get on the ground and start, start trying stretching. To, yeah, start stretching. <laughs> and they're like, wait, you know how to stretch? I was like, oh, yeah, this is nothing. Both legs <laughs> by my head. And uh, <clears throat> the other guys started dancing. And then the girls started flipping. I flipped with them. We just bond. And you know, I've always just been like so outspoken and so outgoing. They get on the pier and they're trying to gather a crowd together to like come do a TikTok dance for the last bit of the um, YouTube video. And um, everybody's scared to try to gather they're people. Like, come here, come here. Yeah, they're like, guys, here. I'm like, so everyone, how are y'all doing? <laughs> we got the over here. Right, so um, they come over. I teach everybody the renegade, and then I step out because I wasn't supposed to be in the video. Yeah, you and then Charlie, the yeah, post a renegade. Well, no, it was uh everybody on the Santa Monica Pier and the uh hype, but nobody would like try to teach the crowd because you oh, know they're shit. all just yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you're like five, six, right. seven. Eight. Yeah, I'm like, all right, guys, it is a one and a two, skeeky crack. And uh, I step back out, and then Charlie's like, wait, no, come back in and do it with us. And then Jordan was like, oh, go, 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 go. So I do it, and then they're like, you're so cool. What are you doing after this? And I was like, oh, nothing. I'm um, just going back to the house to pack. She's like, no, come back to the hype house, come hang out. You're like, okay. And girl, ever since then, right? I said, got it. <laughs> So I live in LA now. <laughs> right. So literally. So then um, I, me and Heidi bonded and it, it was so crazy because throughout the shoot, me and her were kicking the rocks and I'm like, damn, it feel like I've known you for an eternity. And she said the same thing. So then she was like, where do you, where are you from? And um, I was like, Georgia. She was like, well, you need to be out here. So funny enough, Heidi just stayed on my ass and like kept telling me to get out to LA. She, oh, and then shit. I flew back to Georgia and she was like. D, uh, she texted me or whatever and was like, whatever we need to do to get you out here, we're going to do it. Oh, so then yeah. she flew me back out in June to uh, react to Dixie's Be Happy music video. And I got to meet Jason Derulo then. Oh, so sure. at this time, I'm realizing like, damn, this could be a like life-changing event. Yeah. So um, I went back home and I came back out again for two of the Hype House members' birthday in August. And then Thomas had asked me to move into the Hype House right then and there. <clears throat> Still respect and love you guys. But then um, I go back home to pack all my bags to move back to L.A. Mm -hmm. The day I get back, Thomas says, actually, we aren't looking for anybody to move in. Shut up. I swear to God. I swear to God. And you were like packing. I I packed. And I had a a major life move. No, yeah. I I had a going away dinner and party in Georgia. I didn't know that. And yeah. And everybody's like, and, and George, because everybody's so closed minded, they're like, dude, you're not going to make it out there. You need to stay home, go to college. Everybody who was helping uh, p- parental guidance wise was like, you need to go to college yeah. and then pursue that. But I'm like, no, this is my dream. This is what I want to do. I want to entertain people somehow, some way. And um, I make the move because um, it was like August 19th when I went there and Thomas asked me to move in. <clears throat> and I was like, do you mind if I spend my birthday with my family? And then I'll come back out. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. So I moved. I flew back out here September 17th. I texted him while I was in text. It was like, hey, just let you know I'm landing in the airport soon. And I didn't get the message that he replied until I landed in L.A. Oh, my God. And I was freaking out. So I'm, he's like, well, Marco, we don't know what we want to do right now. So we're not looking for anybody to move in. 
so you can come. Uh, you can't really do that. Right. Yeah. You just can't. <laughs> you just like simply just can't yeah. do that. To it me. was crazy. So then I'm like, he's like, you can come collab with us and stuff, but you just can't stay the night. And I'm just like, okay. all of these people that are sleeping in your movie theater, I, bitch, I'll sleep in the garage. Like, I just need somewhere to sleep. Yeah, I thought I was living there. Hello, literally. Oh. And it was a big glass house at this time. Yeah. <clears throat> and. So I was like, do you mind if I still come over and figure it out? So at the time I had been doing YouTube and I had like saved up like $12,000. And I was like, okay, maybe if I continue doing YouTube, I'll be able to get an apartment. But I'm like, at this point, I still don't even know how to get an apartment. Yeah. This is my first day here. And uh, oh, so I'm freaking out. So you're there and out. homeless, yeah. basically. No, literally. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. so scary. Yeah. So as I get there, I'm like, but it's so crazy because... It's like when one man closes a door, God will open 10 million garages. Mm -hmm. And when I got to the hype house, I was just sitting there like, what am I going to do? Like my manager lived down in San Diego and she was planning on driving up to get me that night. And I was just going to stay with her until I had to fly back to Georgia. Sweetheart. And um, one of the members of the hype house was starting the Triller Compound. And um, they oh, were shit. like, Markel. And qu funny enough, he didn't even know that... Uh, <clears throat> That Thomas told me I couldn't move in the hype house anymore. He was low key being conniving and was like, "Oh shit, he was I trying see, to steal you." Yeah, he yeah. was like, "I see so much potential in you." And he was like, "I got two, I got good and bad news." And he was like, "He was like, what's the good news?" And he was like, "Well, I'm starting this house. It's called the Trillion Compound. Um, you you'll be li living rent free, and uh, you I'll help you get brand deals. This out in the third, and we want you to be a part of it. We think you're something special." And you just have everything. So I'm over here getting teary eyed. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, little do you know, I literally had nowhere to live today. Yeah. And uh, I was like, well, what's the bad news? Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, oh, the bad news is you won't be able to live in the hype house. I was like, well, bitch, that all the way to hurry taking off the table. <laughs> so um, I lived with my manager in San Diego for two weeks. And then I moved in the Triller Compound October 1st of 2020. Holy shit. Yeah. I didn't what know all of that. I know, right? Into the story. It was literally, and then it was so crazy because not trying to shit on them or anything, but right after I got in Triller Compound, I had that mindset I was going to make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was going to prove everybody wrong. And after a bitch started blowing back up, <laughs> mm -hmm. I just want to let you know we have a room available at the new house if you want to come back to Shut the hype the house. Fuck I up. said, oh, motherfucker. Yeah. I said, <laughs> Shut the fuck the, up. I swear to God. Oh my God. I swear, I put the hand on the little Bible and on my nipple. <laughs> um, <laughs> Right after I moved into the compound and my videos started popping off this, that, and the third, he tried to ask me to move back in high. And I was just like, I, I, I still went out there and visited him and stuff like that. But I was just like, you played in my face once. What are, what are the odds yeah, that yeah. I get in that house and you won't kick me out? Yeah. Quick commercial break for track phone. Are you paying too much for your wireless plan? Straight Talk just introduced their new Straight Talk multi-line plan where more lines mean more savings. Just $25 a line per month when you get four lines with unlimited data, talk, and text all on nationwide 5G. Plus, no contracts, no hidden fees, and no compromises. That's the straight talk talking. From Straight Talk Wireless, available at Walmart and walmart.com. Let's get back to that show. So, well, isn't it crazy? That's how like LA works. Yeah. People, people like see you doing well and then, then they care about you. Yeah. That, that's the crazy part about it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why couldn't you care when I was down yeah. or when I was like, you know, be like Heidi. Upcoming. Heidi yes. was like, right. I see it. Yes. Yeah. Heidi saw it. She saw what the vision. Sweetheart, Heidi. Hear it. I love that hoe. I love you, Heidi. <laughs> she Heidi still rocks. to this day. <laughs> Heidi seems so sweet. She is. You should have saw us last night. I almost chipped her tooth. I threw a piece of chocolate off my forehead in her <laughs> mouth. <laughs> chocolate chipped her tooth. How does that work? <laughs> it was like sitting on my forehead and I was like this. <laughs> and like trying to launch it in her mouth and she was just sitting at the dinner table like this and you would think we were both 12 we were sitting in this nice fancy ass restaurant where they had like <clears throat> $1,600 steak I did not partake in it I was telling them I wasn't hungry Heidi said bitch don't embarrass me order something <laughs> I look at the menu and it uh, said market price but girl I'm based off damn Georgia market prices <laughs> and I said okay it gotta be like 40 bucks yeah. I'm like uh, how's your lobster prepared? And he says, oh, it's severed, seared, and salami. And then it's like all these bougie-ass words. I said, we rub it tenderly. Right. I said, oh, and finished off with a creamy glorionaise. I said, 
got it. I'll take the lobster. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, and sorry, what is the market price for tonight? Oh, the market price tonight is 165 I tried to rip that menu back open. I said, honestly, I'll just take a side of fries. And he said, he'll get the lobster. Oh. Yeah, she's so cute. She's so sweet. She's like um, she's like uh like a Chris Jenner if Chris Jenner wasn't morally evil. Period. <laughs> I'm like, how do you that heart. girl? Yeah. It's super <laughs> Love sweet. That so then you, you became super close with the D'Amelios. Yes. Through, so that was through Heidi, basically? Yeah. Heidi and um Char so Charlie and we're we bonded over the dancing and stuff like that. And I uh met her at such the early ages of her mm -hmm. growing. I think she had like fifteen or twenty million at the time. Yeah. So her grow blow up was just happening so fast. Yeah. And I met her in the early stages and we just bonded and got that connection and stuff like that. And it's so crazy because how I see her is like so different. People see her so soft spoken and shit like that. Oh no, ma'am, <laughs> Charlie, girl, listen here. I'll be ready to. <laughs> 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 that bitch, cause she, I'm like, she is not shy whatsoever. Isn't that wild? Yes, yeah, so to they... see the different side of her. She's like, yeah, stupid bitch. I'm like. <laughs> I love that. I what, that's sad. She's probably like scared to show it on the internet. So because yeah, because people, she think shit on people her. probably judge her or some shit. And I'm just like, girl, I know people will love it. And Dixie, I love that Dixie's getting more into her. I know, era. girl. I saw People's Magazine was doing an interview with Charlie and Dixie the other day at their pop up, and Dixie's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Like singing songs <laughs> through my head. I'm like, bitch, Dixie, I literally love you. She's in her don't give a damn era. And I'm like, I'm here for it. And I can't wait for Charlie to tap into that shit because I'm like, girl, y'all's personalities will shine. I'm like, they yeah. have so much personality behind those, like, I know. Right. And they, I'm feel, like, they probably Ugh. just feel like they have to be like that. Yeah. Which sucks a little bit. Right. But they need a page out of your book. Mm hmm. Bye -bye. Mm -hmm. And I'll start on Santa Monica Pier. Hello. <laughs> sure I'm like, girl, be your authentic self so you stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. bitch, you're going to get what you get with me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm like, no matter if I'm in a church, uh, if I'm in a corporate meeting, I'm going to still cross the body of bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're the girl, same bitch, person. This in is every room. nice. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, See, that's like, I think more people should be like that. Like, just stop like faking whatever yeah, you like, are to whatever setting you're exactly. in. Exactly. You know what I mean? I'm That's like, so the only thing that changes sometimes is my like white girl Valley voice. Mm. Like depends on a, <laughs> what type of bitches I'm around. I'm like, oh my God, you're a stupid bitch. <laughs> but if I went my, y'all, girl, you stupid ass <laughs> hoe. Like it just, that's the only oh, part I'm that so changes. I'm so glad we get the real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> good. It's great. just get a percent. Oh my God, oh my God. stupid oh, bitch. Oh the, oh, the lobster, it was yeah. delicious. Yeah, literally. And it actually, was it wasn't my liking. Uh uh, that hoe was very chewy. <laughs> Tender my ass. I said, right. I said, market value, put that bitch back on the market. Yeah, market's tough, man. I'm uh, like, that is just. I always not try it. to whisper it. What's the well, and that's was, New York, dude. But I think we're all similar in the same way where we're like, shit is so expensive and we like value money and the prices yeah. of things. But these influencers, I'm like, dude, how are you spending this money? I know you make a lot of money, but it's fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm like, you guys know you, you're you not going to be an influencer your whole life. life that you part. need money. You need to save the you money. Need you need to make money off of the money you it's have. It's crazy. <laughs> People are so stupid with it. Like, they have no game plans. No, not at all. And I feel like they live so... And it's, it's a point of living in time, in the time, but you also have to be cautious of your future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because some bitches be like, I'm like, oh my God, did you just buy a $10,000 bag? Oh, and it's, a, it's an investment, which is true, but bitch, listen here. <laughs> Let that bag get stolen in what? Your uh, investment gone. I know. A house ain't going to be stolen. They ain't going to just <laughs> pick that bitch up off the ground and steal it. Dude, That's who, true. Who do you live with in LA? Uh, Nate. Nate, okay. Nate Lyon, you, yeah. Who did you used to live with? You lived with Noah Nate. and Blake. What, how do we feel about Noah and Blake? Love them. Love them love now. Them. I wish I could still live with them hoes. Mm. I love happened? Nate too, but his little whistle neck ass, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> love him down. But Nate literally, I just renewed our lease in July. Mm -hmm. And this bitch texts me yesterday while I'm in New York trying to live my best life. Markel, actually, I think I want to move out. Oh, I you said, motherfucker. <laughs> right. And I was literally looking for a new place. Mm -hmm. And he literally convinced me to stay in the house that we're currently in. And he's like, no, I think... um. One of his other friends just offered him a place to live, and it's like oh, the better a cheaper value for him. And he's uh. like, oh, this is just better for me. I said, we hey, got it. Me okay. over. I said, now I'm selfish, but, you know. <laughs> you can find someone else. Hello, I come prepared. Well, no, I just um, looked at my uh, looked at me on my own place. 
told my manager to go uh, sign a little application or whatever I got to do, and oh, I'm gonna go view it. Living alone. Uh, when I get back to LA on the 13th. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Making money moves before making money. Adulting. <laughs> Hello. I said yes, adulting. I said you will never catch me sliding or slouching over a bitch. I'm like, okay, take a little whistle neck ass on, because <laughs> I wish you nothing but the best. But if your ass tried to come back, there's no room available. <laughs> yes, Thomas and your ass. Hello. Now. <laughs> right, that part. There's no room available. You can sign a little spreadsheet and we'll hook you up when one opens up. No room at the inn. Period. What is their names? Fuck it. Mary and Joseph. Okay. Mary that and was Joseph. Bible, Bible yeah. quote. Forget about it. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Quick commercial break for Frontier Airlines. So for a limited time, get more than five months of unlimited travel for $299 with the Go Wild All You Can Fly Pass. This is actually crazy. So the pass gets you access to everywhere Frontier flies, domestic and international destinations. So you can explore exciting destinations in the U.S., Mexico, and the Caribbean. The pass gets you access to more travel. So last minute trips to Vegas, escaping the beaches in Puerto Rico, going home to see family when homesick, whatever you want, Frontier's got you. So buy your Go wild pass today like i said it gets you access to everywhere frontier flies domestic and international destinations so if you want to hop on a plane say yes to everything uh go do it with frontier airlines buy or go wild pass today 299 dollars. let's get back to the episode are they the religious, religious? Not my thing. yes <laughs> yes because you're from georgia yeah you come from a huge family mm-hmm. how many six, siblings uh six including myself where do you Holy fall shit. in the middle okay yeah what's it like being the middle child Honestly, I think I was the golden child. I was the chosen one. Mm. It's the funny <laughs> thing. It's like out of six kids, I'm the only one with my mom's last name. Really? <laughs> yeah. I probably think that because she was fucking two people at the same time and she didn't know who my dad was. But she said she claimed she knew. <laughs> <laughs> I said, now, mom, you was like just popping puss and being a whore. <laughs> but yeah, she said she knew. But she, I'm, I'm the only one with her and my grandpa's last name. And um, it was like, I uh, always, I feel like... <clears throat> It's so crazy because I always think in my head what uh, made myself different or want to have a different lifestyle than my siblings. Because yeah. if you see my siblings, you would never put it together because my brothers are like, hey, put nigga, what's good? <laughs> you know, hey, boot gang in it, bitch. I'm like, got it. <laughs> when I go home, I'm like, God, put my flat cap on. Right, literally. <laughs> and I'm like, <clears throat> my friends still do this in a way. <laughs> so it's like, it's just so different coming from such a huge family and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I just you always. Because you, you were in Miami for a little bit? Yeah, I'm originally born and raised in Miami. Yeah. I moved uh, from Miami when I was 13 to Georgia. Holy shit. Oh, that's yeah, a, but it's cooler to say. 13 is a tough age to switch uh, up. No, that part. Yeah. It's cooler to say I'm from Brunswick, Georgia. Just come from a small town versus yeah. Miami. They're like, oh, bitch, everybody from Miami. That's true. Yeah, that's I'm true. like, no, I'm from a small town called Brunswick, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start cheerleading? Brunswick? When I was uh, 17, my junior year in high school. You started that late? Oh. Yeah. And you're that good? Oh, yeah. shit. Wait, what? No, yeah. It was literally, and the crazy part about it, I didn't even want to start cheer. I just saw a girl flipping in my gym, gym class, and um, she was like, you can't do uh, she was like it takes practice so I took a mattress because we couldn't afford a trampoline we couldn't afford a trampoline so my ass went in that front yard and took a mattress and was landing on the neck like (laughs) and after I got it I went back to the school and then she took me to the gym and the gym owners saw potential and they gave me a scholarship to cheer. Oh, sick. Because they were like you're a boy and you're strong as shit so let's put you in one of the stunts and I cheered there for two years and then I moved to South Carolina Columbia and cheered there for a year. Yeah, you did competitive cheerleading. Yeah. Do you think that's like a big part of your life and like what where kind of got you where you oh, are? No, yeah, 100%. That show, that taught me how to help encourage people. Mm-hmm. And that brought me out of my show. Because funny enough, I, uh, back in high school, I was outgoing, but I wasn't as open-minded as I mm-hmm. am now. Because in Georgia, everybody's so fucking yeah. type shit. So I, was, I wasn't the like outgoing Markel that I am now. It was more contained and yeah. stuff like that because I was scared of judgment and everything like that. And um, <clears throat> when I got into cheer, everybody was just so accepting, no matter gay, straight, bi, black, mm-hmm. white, Hispanic, alienated, or anything like that. They were just so accepting and stuff like that. And funny enough, um, my cheer family, like that, because my, my, <clears throat> my dad had passed away my sophomore year and my mom went to jail junior year. So mm-hmm. senior year was shit for me. So mm-hmm. I was just like looking and seeking that family atmosphere yeah. and stuff like that from lack of home. And the cheer community is what gave it to me. So mm-hmm. they were just so accepting. And that's why <clears throat> I was in it so uh, like heavily. <laughs> and um, 
<laughs> funny enough, I didn't have a way to and from practice. Mm. So them bitches did a fundraiser and got me a Harley Davidson moped. Oh my God. Shut up. That's so yeah. sweet. <clears throat> it was so cute. That's awesome. Hold on. <clears throat> this bitch was on a moped. Oh no, my yeah. God. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, you should have saw me. I had a little turtle helmet on, <laughs> like that only covered my brain. Hold on. My brain. <laughs> Wait, it's so funny because a girl literally just sent me this today. All right, Snapchat, get it together. You know, I live. There we go. <laughs> Shut oh no up. way! That's awesome. Right? Wait, that's so sweet. That's yeah, it so was sweet. so sweet. And so, you had like Georgia? a cheer mom, right? Yeah, this was in Georgia, and yes, her name's Megan Kinazares, and she was like taking me to all the competitions, mm-hmm. pay for everything and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, they did that fundraiser, and I was able to get to and from practice. And funny enough, it was literally so many moms in different walks. It was like Megan was my cheer mom, but so many different moms from school would help me because I was in this uh, program called Communities in School, mm-hmm. and it was a program to help kids with separate homes. Wow, that was kind of a big word. Good job, Marco. <laughs> uh, like not look, put together homes and stuff like that. So they had this program implemented in school to help, and it was so many different moms that was supposed to come. I had like 15 graduation tickets. Everybody canceled on me either the day of or the day before. Mm. Megan was the only person to come to my graduation. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. And it was so crazy. (laughs) Wait, what a beautiful program (laughs) to have. Yeah, right. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's called Community in School. And that's literally one program I want to be able to uh, one day give back to, um, like some type of donation or something. Because without that, I probably wouldn't have graduated. Yeah. I was literally, it wasn't that I was like rebellious in school. I was more the class clown because... I wanted to make everybody else happy because seeing other people smile made me smile. And yeah. it just didn't make me remember what was going on at home. Mm-hmm. So um, after having communities in school, they would try to get me to open up and shit like that. And I was so closed off and I was just like, it was a whole different Markel that people don't see today. Yeah. And that's why I love being authentic and sharing my story and stuff like that. Because I'm like, you, no matter if you come from a severed home or like your background, it doesn't determine your future. And uh, it was so crazy because those ladies were so sweet and I used to be a jackass to them. Mm. And not really like verbally abusive or nothing, but I would just never open up and give them time of day. They would just be standing right there in my face. And I'm like, dude. Just like, because it was hard for me to trust people and yeah. open up. But the only way I went every day because them hoes had some good ass biscuits in the morning. <laughs> so every day I would go grab a biscuit <laughs> and eat and I would hear everybody else's stories. And one day like, Somebody's story actually touched me, and it was so crazy. I had spoke out in class, and everybody was like this, and like turned towards me. And then I finally started opening up, and then it just helped me so much. And they got my grades back on a track to graduate, um, and um, I graduated. And it was like so crazy because they, I knew they pulled some strings. I failed Spanish too. I wasn't supposed to graduate. Oh, shit. I literally failed Spanish too. I needed 26 credits to graduate. I think I had 24 or 25. Oh, shit. And I didn't even have to take summer school. Them bitches pulled, like, they pulled some shit. And I graduated and got to walk with my class. But I almost didn't walk because all of those people who canceled on me. And funny enough, as I'm walking out the gymnasium, I was like, I'll, I'll just come back and get my diploma. The late, I swear, stuff is set up. Mm hmm. And the Lord works in mysterious ways. As I'm walking out the gymnasium, and you thought it was a damn movie scene, I'm walking out crying. Mm-hmm. And the lady from communities in school is walking in the gym. Her name's Tanya Barbie. We'll never forget her. She's like, Marco, what's wrong? Where are you going? And I'm like, nobody didn't show up for me to come. Like, I just thought I had more support than this. And she's like, Marco, it's okay. You didn't do this for them. You did it for you. Yeah. Oh, that's so, yeah. That's, and that's literally what turned me around. And I'm so grateful that I got to walk because... Yeah. If I didn't, I would have never got that experience and stuff like that. And me not thinking anybody showed up. Soon as I uh, showed up, uh, Megan stood up. And you're not like in Georgia is like forbidden to yeah. clap uh, or do anything. You get a five hundred dollar fine if you clap or what? make noise during graduation. She stood up and got accepted her fine to make sure she knew <laughs> to make sure Wait, that I knew she so was there. That's so fucking yeah. sweet. Oh, wow. She she recorded me. and was like, "Wow, Markel, I love you." And it was so crazy because I was so like this. <laughs> like I like it was That's so crazy. Awesome. Yeah. That is like a movie. Yeah, and uh, I got to walk, and then she took me out to dinner after that, and she accepted that fine with pride, and she was like, still to this day, she was like, I wouldn't change it for the world. So it was. Do great. you guys That's keep awesome. in touch? Yeah, I literally just flew to see her uh, in July. I saw her two times this uh, year. I flew there in July, 
and I flew back in March or something like that. That's crazy. Did that's I, so sweet. Did I see that your um your cheer mom and your mom met? Yes. Yeah, yes. that's awesome. And that was the first time they had ever met. That's so cool. It was kind of recent, right? Yeah. I, when I went back home and uh like in between my trips, like they probably met in like June. Yeah, early June. How was that? It was literally, I didn't know what to expect <laughs> mm-hmm. because. They um, both knew that that's what yeah, they were going for, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, it was so cool. They both like broke out into tears. Oh. And my mom was like telling her, thank you so much mm-hmm. for like just believing in me and like just sowing a seed and stuff like that. Because without her, I don't know where I would be. Yeah. <laughs> she had taught me so many things in life. She helped me open up my first bank account. Even mm-hmm. though that bitch closed because I got a fake sugar daddy online, but that's another story. Hey, those things happen. Literally, me hey, and we're hustling happen. out here. Right, God, listen. I said, nigga, want a toe pick? <laughs> and it was so funny. Let me go on that story a little bit. It was so funny because I met that nigga online. And he was like, hey, I'll see you in 10 bands. Sends me a check in the mail, and I'll go to try to uh, cash it at SunTrust. And I filed a uh, check, and it was about to clear my account. And as soon as it uh, was about to clear the next day, they paused the whole damn account and had to close the account now. So the money that I had in there, they said the check was fraudulent. I was like, wait, what? Mm, what <laughs> I had no about? idea. <laughs> like, this is crazy. <laughs> and I literally had like probably $700 in my account. They froze the whole account and didn't give me any of the money back. What the oh, fuck? Yeah. 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 It's not I your fault you got bitch. scammed. Yeah, literally. Yeah. It's legal. Said, it's never like... will I ever trust one of them niggas. I said, y'all. <laughs> Fuck y'all. But yeah, she helped me open up my first bank account and learn all Segway. those who's alive. And <clears throat> she, um, so to see them meet, it was like the best moment in life. I was like, this was like an accomplishment that I was waiting to happen and never knew would happen. Yeah. My mom just saw me see her one day because I went to surprise her for her daughter's graduation. And my mom was like, wait, what? Because she knew about the story, but forgot. She was like, well, next time she's in Georgia, I would love to meet her. Oh, awesome. And funny enough, I flew home one week and Megan was in Georgia because her daughter uh, had a time capsule. I'm like, that's some white people shit. <laughs> like she went to uh, do a time capsule in her elementary school. Mm-hmm. They wrote letters and stuff uh, to themselves, their future selves oh, that's during cool. graduation. Yeah, that's really cool. So they got to go back to their elementary school and view their time capsule. Oh, sure. I was like, that was some white people shit, but it was it cool is. as shit. <laughs> yeah, it totally so, is. Right. <laughs> but it's so, cool. um, um, they were in town for that. And then, uh, my mom had called me that same day and I was like, wait, both of y'all in town, y'all should meet up. And they were like, that would be a great idea. And I was like, holy shit, this is going down. And I just didn't know <laughs> were what you nervous? to expect. Yes. Yeah. I was like, I didn't know if my mom would feel uh like some type of like, like step down a little bit. Tip, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Possessive type thing because both of them was calling me son and I'm just in there like this. <laughs> but it was I just love you such, both. <laughs> yeah. It was just such a great moment. They like my mom was crying and then Megan uh, was just like telling her all, like showing her all the photos that she missed and stuff like that, and just up there in her life. It was a dope vibe. That's a full circle. I love that. Yeah, it That's was awesome. dope as hell. All right, guys, quick commercial break for Oxy Shred Ultra Energy. So me and Grace are drinking them right now. The cans, first of all, are sick. Dude, you can grip it. It's got like grooves. I know it's crazy. It's, it's like the Craziest thing I've ever felt. There's like I've never stroked a can like this. There's like grips on the side. It's like fun to hold. This one's colorful. I got the gummy snake. This. Flavor is actually really, really good. What flavor do you have? Peach Rings Candy. Let's That's go. my jam. Yeah, but with um, Oxy Shred Ultra Energy, there's no sugar and there's no jitters and no crash with like super caffeinated drinks, which is awesome because that's the worst part about having an energy drink mm-hmm. is the crash and yeah. the jitters. Like when you get shaky. You're like all tensed up. Yeah, there's nothing worse than that. You Not don't here. get that with Oxy Shred because it's Mm-mm. clean. It's good. It's clean energy, baby. Mm-hmm. And it tastes really good. There's tons of flavors. What flavors do we got? We got uh, Pina Colada, Peach Candy Rings, Kiwi Strawberry, Gummy Snake. That's the one I'm drinking. Bahama Breeze guava paradise cotton candy pa- oh cotton candy we got to get that one yeah. passion fruit and cali cola there's so many uh we've been drinking these for a little bit now they're a new sponsor and we absolutely love them uh, it gets me through the day i love saying their name i know it's fun right oxy shred i know it's like it really is an energy booster <laughs> so man electric. this drink is awesome it's energy to burn like i said uh there's no jitters no crash and there's no sugar so it's it's not gonna make you feel like shit it's energy to burn zero crash fresh focus and Good vibes. Literally, we are the vibes guys. Dude, Oxy Shred gets us, man. They really do just fucking get it. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, make sure to. They taste really good. There's a bunch of flavors. You can go to Oxy Shred Energy. Uh, It's available on Amazon right now. So order it and check it out. There's tons of flavors to choose from. Like I said, stroke this can, get a good vibe, get fucking up, bro. Just go on Amazon and type in Oxy Shred. It's literally that easy. (laughs) It'll come right up. Okay, see you soon. (laughs) 
That's sweet. And now you're like close with your mom. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I awesome. paid that off uh, her house. <laughs> I bought her a car. Oh yeah. yeah. That's so sweet. That's Markel, so you deserve everything that you get. Seriously. Thank you so much. I love seeing you win. What's coming up next for you? Uh, other than VMAs, I'm trying to get on Dancing with the Stars. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Can uh, everyone DM Dancing with that. the Stars and say you want Markel Washington on, please? please. I mean, it would be their loss if oh, they did I know. It. I'm like, I would annihilate on the show. And I'm like, it was a funny thing. Funny enough, I literally never, well, I watched the show a little bit because my friend Sony Lee was on it. Mm-hmm. But I Love just watched her. the YouTube videos. But then when Charlie and Heidi was on it, I went to every episode. They had 15 tapings. I went to 13 out of 15. I literally had to miss the finals and semifinals because I was hosting a cheer event in Georgia. <laughs> but I was watching it on TV. Mm-hmm. And uh, I literally went in all the tapings and fell in love with the show. Yeah. And I'm like, I just ho- love the whole aspect of the show, the whole like message and everything behind it. And I'm like, I can see myself doing this shit. Please. Please. And it was so crazy. I, you know my non-confrontational ass. The lady, Debbie who is the executive producer on the show, she makes all the selects for the show. Mm-hmm. So no matter who the fuck you know at Disney Plus, them bitches don't know shit. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they don't control shit. Debbie is the bitch we need. Oh, we're going to contact Hello. Debbie. Debbie. Hello. Right, right guys? Ooh, Jesus, take the look. And maybe before I... Her name's Dina. Oh. <laughs> Dina. I, Dina. I meant Dina. 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 You know, that's confusing. my nerves, right? Mm-hmm. Those are my nerves. <laughs> and uh, literally, I, w- I built up the courage to go speak to her one day at one of the travel shows because mm-hmm. they went on tour. And I was like, hey, Dina. She's like, hi. And so then she said, I said, enjoy the show. <laughs> Because I was literally about to plug myself. If you need a dancer for next year, just let me know. But I was like, she's like, hi. Like, All right, Dana, thank you. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you for your Dana. time. She was like, hey. And I was but, like, fuck. Seriously, between like, not only would you dance phenomenally, the the whole rest of the show is the behind the scenes. You'd be hilarious. Right. I know. Hilarious. It's the and best a, of both. Right. And the crazy part about it, I'm not a trained dancer. No, you're truly so, You're right. Yeah. Literally. So, and I'm like, the way it will be such a different like world for me to step in, especially ballroom. I have never put on a damn pair of tap shoes in my life. Yeah. I don't even know if they were tap shoes. I want to see you tap so Hello. Bad. Like, <laughs> 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 but I'm like, that would be so fun. So that's uh, one thing. And then uh, I have a movie coming out. I filmed a movie last year, July. Holy shit. Oh, shit. It was a movie uh, called Step Aside. And um, that's supposed to premiere after the actor and writer strike. So um, yeah, just getting into more acting and hosting and shit what like that. What about singing? Perfect. <clears throat> this motherfucker has pipes on him. Um, let me tell you, we were all at dinner in Fiji, mm-hmm. and he, Markel went missing. It, it didn't go unnoticed, but for whatever reason, it, it went unnoticed for a qu- quick second. And then all of a sudden, we're hearing a beautiful new voice coming from the distance. It's Markel. He took the mic from the singer. He did. And it was... Even better than the singer that they had hired. <laughs> you know, he it's had a so crowd funny. around him. What song were you singing? Uh, oh, is that one? All of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Right? No. No, uh, wrong. No. I was drunk. <laughs> it was the song, I'm so in love with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope you know. I mean, do you hear that? Come on. <laughs> Darling, love's more than worth this way to go. Come on. We're, we're going to get copyrighted. So far, my dear. <laughs> it's that good. Look how we've grown. But I want to stay with you into a grand no. Just tell me you're a hoe. That's right. Hey, <laughs> come on. Just tell me you're a hoe. Big old slut. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I wanted to. Zach, wanted, can we put him on awesome. a song, please? Period. Period. <laughs> uh, um, okay. <laughs> no, I wanted to get into uh, singing more. I, I need to show it. And showcase it and do yeah, it Yeah, show it off You're a little bit. I mean, he could do fucking everything. But, yeah. And funny enough, one of my friends, I'm having like this party for my birthday. My birthday's in two days, actually. <gasps> oh my God. Happy birthday. Happy Thank early you birthday. So much. How old are you turning? Uh, 26. No way. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, can I not be in that Taylor Swift era? The 20s here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's I okay. want to go in. But, okay. you know. No, 26 is good. It's, it's 27 you have to be scared for. Hello. Mm-hmm. What happens during that age? You die. You die. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. God willing. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, Blood? Yeah. <laughs> God, I feel like that's what my lip nose are starting to close oh. off. <laughs> <laughs> that's our death star. Yeah. Right. Literally. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? She only saw me because I didn't have my click on. That's right. <laughs> I y'all, uh, and I gotta give y'all the update on Joy. Oh. oh. <laughs> Okay, dude. 
<laughs> Literally. <laughs> These are all <laughs> inside jokes from Fiji. <laughs> Hello, this is Fiji. <laughs> we're back in the island thing. Hello, you. we're back on the <laughs> island. I'm like, it was so crazy. They could hit me up the other day. Tell me something. Out of nowhere. This is a guy on Markel's Snapchat. Yeah. From I home. See that, yeah. <laughs> I want to see that ass clap. I say, what? <laughs> out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. He'll message Markel and say, show me that dick. Oh, never mind. I want these sluts. I want to make money. Right. <laughs> I'm like, Learn, rape yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. He said, hey, show me that big titty white bitch. I said, That's right. I think she literally likes girls. No, I'm a fucker. I'm a raper. I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. got fucked. It got yeah. fucked. It got, yeah. got fucked fast. I was like, He said, I got what? the Uzi and the Draco. It was so crazy. Yeah. I, I was disturbed. And no. it was so crazy because we had this running joke that we were in our cloaks. So I was like, sorry, Invisible I can't cloaks. talk. Yeah. <laughs> Invisible cloaks. I said, sorry, I can't talk. I'm running through the forest with my cloak on. He said, fuck your cloak. Show me that little black dick. I say, what? <laughs> Fuck like, yeah! We're eating Jordan. dinner. Yeah. And he's, this motherfucker. I'm not kidding. He's got his pants off, upside down, with his dick out. Like dick he was getting a Brazilian saying, "I don't care. Give me the motherfucking hose." Yeah, oh. literally, it was full crazy. I was eagle. So glad I was Both halfway across legs. the world. Both of his legs was like in the air, butthole and penis right there, oh and he's like, God. "Show me the sluts." I want Cocker to give it. I say, wow, that's a combo. <laughs> so how's he doing? He's doing good. He's doing good. He's doing good. Yeah. Um, he sent me a couple of news the other day. I left him on open, but mm -hmm. he's doing good. He's doing mm -hmm. good. We've got to send the SWAT team to his house. <laughs> I think so. I feel like that's the only thing that'll stop him. Let's SWAT his wow. ass. <laughs> I'm flying him out. Oh. Ooh. Yes. For fashion week? Uh, did y'all just mm -hmm. say y'all were like... We're talking. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. He's the astronaut? I'm into the weird shit. <laughs> right. Is he the astronaut? Um, yes. <laughs> do it. I yes. do it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do because both of my wrists are broken. So. <laughs> oh, wait, use that mouth, baby. Hello, girl. Yes. <laughs> Listen here. Didn't you make a game for Markel? I got a game. Okay. okay. All right. The game for Markel. Is, I came up with this game, so it might not be good. It might not be fun, but we'll, we'll see. It's called Markel Lib, like a Mad Lib. Okay. 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 So I'm going to ask you... Um, I'm going to ask you to fill in the blank, and then I'm going to hand this over to you, and you're going to read it like a news report. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. And we can, we can switch on and off between the two of you, um, if you'd like, for filling it in. Now, mind you, y'all know my read, and it's not up to par. <laughs> okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, he graduated, but barely. Hello, barely. <laughs> Influencer name. Me? Asking for it. Hotties. Hotties. Mm -hmm. Is that a person? It's me. Okay. <laughs> Hotties. Hotties, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, brand's name? Tart. Ooh, they got budget. Uh verb verb ending in ing. Jacking. Mm. I know what a verb is, bitch. Don't try me. <laughs> Place. Um, Fiji. Thank you. Great answer. I feel like we're on family for you. Oh, no. Great answer. Um <coughs> negative adjective. Ball head. I love the sound yeah, effect. Yeah, that's me fun. Me too, bitch. That's giving me chalk for <laughs> I, know. Um, <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Should have just used it on your laptop and typed I it. I know. I was Thank trying to go old-fashioned here. You. Yeah, let's stop with this Okay, one. enough's enough. <laughs> God, this is really... I knew this was going to be a nightmare. Oh Thank God. you. I'm sorry. <laughs> this game is a nightmare. Um, oh, noun. we've got four pages. Um, <laughs> you said a noun? Noun. Oh, okay. Megan the Stallion? Yeah, good answer, good answer. Thank mm -hmm, you. Yeah. I want to give it the family feud vibe. Good answer. Oh, I thought Steve Harvey, I saw a headline today that Steve Harvey died at age 56. What? But he didn't. It was a guy with a similar name. It was a rumor. Just wanted to clear the air on oh, that. Oh, you got it. Mm -hmm. got it. Um, a hated celebrity. Travis Scott. Fuck that bitch. A hated Ooh. influencer. Brianna Chicken Fry. You would have knew my answer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> athlete. What's up? Athlete. Um, <laughs> More girl. <laughs> Dick sporting it. I'm just kidding. Uh, LeBron. Okay. Animal. Um, a fox. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Expensive food item. Lobster. Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheap food item. Um, ramen. Nice, nice. Good mm -hmm. answer. Non edible food. A non edible item. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> Unfavorable music artist. People that a uh, music artist that someone hates. Yes. Who do you hate? Tracy Lawrence. Okay. 
All right, this is Fox. Oh, I should have made it smaller. All right, noun. <laughs> Person, place, or thing. I feel like I'm in school. Paris. 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 Wee oui, wee. Oui. Um, sling me. A vine reference. Like a full one? Yeah. Look at all those chickens? <clears throat> yeah, okay. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a, I really make a good southern accent while Grace is over there feeling it out. All right. Um, <laughs> a dance move south. name. The Woe. <laughs> the Woe. But, uh, Length of time? Uh, 40 hours. 40 hours. 40 hours. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, verb ending in I-N-G. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's what we do down here in the south. We just be fucking <laughs> so everything <laughs> with yeah. a hole. Yeah. Give me yep. the dick or the or the girls in the money. Right. You can fuck a bitch in her ear. Uh-huh. Um, sorry, what celebrity who fell off. Celebrity who fell off. Um, uh, What'd you uh, say? Phoebe Rexa. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, celebrity that fell off. Gotcha. <laughs> um, okay. Tarnation. Adjective. <laughs> Adjective uh, that's described as some shit, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, shitty. <laughs> that bad is, word. Ah, oh, cock. That's that's that is a bad word. Um. Okay. Um. Body part. A body part. Nipple. <laughs> um. Good. Verb. Um. An ed. Wait. What? So like. Um. Shined. Oh. Cried. Cried. She cried. <laughs> she cried when I looked at her. The pencil book. Just getting the notebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're done? Uh huh. And, <laughs> all right. That, so we won't do that ever again. <laughs> but um, here is your story <laughs> <clears throat> Breaking news. Late last week, Markel attended the Tart jacking event in the. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news <laughs> last week markel attended the tart jacking event in fiji to promote the latest megan the stallion song <laughs> markel is now facing backlash for the bald-headed behavior at the event <laughs> before markel even arrived at the event their agency sent over a list of demands to tart which were <laughs> which were to be taken care of or Markel would not be in attendance. Markel will bring not one, not two, but three plus one to the event. Travis Scott, Brianna Chicken Fry, and LeBron. <laughs> Transportation must be provided via Fox. A separate food a separate food a separate food selection should be a, available for Markel too much, I mean to munch on when they get Hungries. Feasible options include lobster, ramen, and penis. <laughs> the DJ must play all the Tracy Lawrence hits at some point of the night. If the demands were if the demands weren't bad enough, when Markel first showed up to the event, they threw Paris at the bouncer until they let him in. <laughs> Markel, Travis Scott, Brianna Chicken Fry, and LeBron then proceeds to entered the party where they yelled, look at all those chickens! <laughs> and it immediately started a circle in which the whoa <laughs> and did the whoa for 40 hours. <laughs> the dancing stopped when Markel started fucking <laughs> towards the host of the party who just happened to be B.B. Rexa. <laughs> B.B. Rexa did not appreciate this and began calling Markel a shitty cock. <laughs> the two then both fought to the... <laughs> <laughs> fought to the finish <laughs> while the rest of the party watched in fear. All in all, the host of the party, BB, broke Markel's nipple and Markel, Markel and their crew cried out of the party while crying like they just watched that one scene in the notebook. And that is all the breaking news we have for you guys today. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the breaking news. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. I think that's that how we like ended with the breaking news. Yeah, that was real good. good it job. just took a long time to well, we'll, get there. We'll cut all the long time. Yeah, yeah cut the time. It's a good game. Good Thank job. You oh, yeah, so it was really much. fun. That good job. Fun. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Thank you for coming on, Markel. Is there anything you'd like to fucking plug while you're here? 
my butt. Mm-hmm. I'm kidding. <laughs> Jordan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. He's yours. He's sorry. I got my cloak. Sorry. <laughs> well, uh. What was that? A sneeze? Oh, he gets it when you do it. <laughs> 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 I, did, I flew out of frame one more. So, guys, think, give me another. Huh. Guys, so, <laughs> it doesn't get old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like I should. <laughs> and he's gone. Right. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to Plan Bree today. Uh, thank you so much, Markel, for being here. Thank you guys for having me. And I really appreciate it. And, uh, is there anything you guys would like to plug before you exit the room? My butt. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> uh, hey, before I do, if I did have to eat coochie, I really could listen to this. That's Just all for saying. today, folks. Thank you so much for Thank watching. You. <laughs> Goodbye. Get out. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs>